Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. It's Elsie. It's Monday morning. And I'm going to show you the progress that I made. It's not super exciting. I only worked on the one project, the long dog sampler called Queen of Hearts. So this is where I got. So I did this. I pulled this line out, these two lines over, and then I just started to come down here. So that's probably more work than it looks like, but that's where I got. So what I am planning to do now, oh, and actually I'm getting close to some more interesting parts. There's this sort of edging on the top. And once that's done, then I'll be on to more interesting things, but let me take this pattern off here. So what I'm going to do next is this edging here and then just go up under there. So once I do that, then I'm going to work on these flowers and this sort of interesting flowery leafy part in the middle. And so some of this is going to be the pink. Some of these big flowers are going to be pink and then there'll be various little pink things as I go down. And then this big swan. So he's not wearing a crown. Um, so yeah, so it's going to get interesting. I just have to finish this sort of decorative part up here. So that's exciting. And then there's a bird, what looks like it could be a bat. I don't know. Um, oh, and you'll see I did some back stitching here. Back stitching didn't come out totally neat in all of all of the cases, but it was easy to do as I went along so that I don't have to go back and do it at another time. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking. So this is like the middle of the pattern. I went past it to finish this because it's a duplicated um, thing, a duplicated element, but this is like half, half of the, well, it's the end of the page. It's half of the full pattern. So yeah, I think it's looking great. I did these two little pink hearts in here. So there was more pink to come, but not a lot on the top here. So it's coming along fine. So um, I thought I would, since that's not that interesting, I thought I would show you some of the collage that I do. All right, let's throw that back in there. So um, every month I send collage postcards to the people who are paid subscribers to my newsletter. And so that's fun and it gives me an excuse. Like I really have to sit down and do collage at least once a month, right? Because these people are expecting it. So I love that it kind of makes it a job for me that I have to do. So I'll show you a few of the things I made. So this collage postcard is actually some text out of a James Thurber book. Um, it's like um, um, fables. It's like a book of fables. And so this is some text out of it. It's a story. And then this image is from a German magazine that a friend brought me back when she recently um, went to Germany to visit family. And so then the back of the postcard, this, um, which says the revolution I seek is nurtured by joy, love, and humanity. Uh, that came from a little device that I had bought a while ago. And whoops, I think this is the way it goes. It's called a pooly printer. And what it does is I turn it on. And it hooks, I don't know if you can see that light, it hooks, and this is just a weird thing that uh, hooks onto it, but it, this hooks to my phone through Wi-Fi or um, Bluetooth, 
And then I can pick an image on my phone, which this was like a meme I downloaded uh, from social media. And I can print it in very low quality, but this will just print it out. It's um, a heat, um, a thermal printer. So there's no ink. Uh, it's the paper, right, that reacts to the thermal process that goes on in this. So I can print out these cool little pieces of paper with whatever I want. An image, again, they're really low quality, but this one came out pretty good. Um, anyway, so I actually hadn't used it in a while. And I tried to use it and it didn't work. And I was like, oh, you know, this is probably, I got it off the internet, probably a piece of crap. But I did get it to work again. I contacted them and they told me how to make it work. So I'm enjoying that. So for all each of the postcards I do this month, I'm going to print off this same, because I love what it says, print off this same image and put it on the back. This one's actually going in an envelope. That's why I put hugs LC. But normally the person's address would be there. And then I would send this as the postcard. But this person actually has a founding uh, subscription, so they get more stuff. So they're also getting this sticker. And this sticker, which says emotional support sticker. <laughs> I think it's funny. And then I'm also sending them a postcard that I designed uh, blank so they can send it and I've pre-stamped it for them. So that's what's going in this envelope for this founding subscriber. And so every, and it's in this cute little envelope that I designed. So that's that one. And then I've already, so there's two kinds of source material that I like for my um, collage. Since I send a lot of them on postcards. So I need background images um, for kind of the back. So this one I use text. I don't usually do that. And then I also need sources that have little things I can cut out to put on, you know, on top of the background image. So this is a picture of broccoli that I think I also got out of one of the German magazines. Actually, this raccoon might have come out. And then the raccoon is glued on top of it. And then <laughs> since this is a magazine page, it's very thin. So I can't just use that as the postcard. So I actually had some postcards that I wasn't going to use. And so I've been gluing my background images on top of these postcards. So then I have the postcard background. Uh, but I will run out of those eventually. But I have, uh, so I have some pieces of kind of like, uh, I'm not sure what kind of paper to call it, but it's thicker paper and it's colored. And so I'm going to start using those. So then I will have a blank background which I can just draw in my own postcard, like a line and then put the person's address. But I am working on getting a stamp that will have a line and then lines for address and then maybe a little personal like made with love by Elsie. So this is another postcard that I put together with a background and then an image on top. And then I glued that onto a postcard. So these are some of the these were actually really cool postcards and I sent some of, I did actually a social experiment. Uh, they each have little instructions on them. And so one of them was like, cover this with stains and it had like a tablecloth on it. And so I chose like 10 friends who I knew would participate and I sent the postcards to them with the instructions. And then I think I stamped, I put the postcard in an envelope and I stamped it so they could send it back to me but they were really good. So the one with stains, my friend sent it back to me with stains on it. And so I did this whole project with a comparison of the original postcard and then what the postcard looked like after my friends followed the instructions. So, but um, I ran out of ones that were really like good for that because, you know, this one is like the forest. This is a forest to get lost in. You might want to think of it as a mini retreat or a place to sit. You might want to dream about building a cabin. Anyway, so it doesn't have any real like instructions to do to the card. So I'm just reusing them by gluing stuff on top of them. And then they've got the postcard back. So I hate to waste things. So this is my environmental, today's Earth Day. <laughs> this is my environmental contribution. I try to reuse things, you know, even these magazines that I cut things out of or books that I cut things out of. 
you know, our trash that other people would consider trash and would either end up in the recycling or, you know, end up in the actual trash. So this background is from a magazine that is about um, Buddhism and Himalayan art. And then this might have come out of the German magazine too, but I'm going to put this cat on top of it because I think that looks cool. And, oh, I thought I had one more. I guess that's it. So what, so I, I can't collect too much material or collage because I have limited space and some people, you know, have craft rooms and they just keep all of this extra stuff in it. Um, but I don't have that. So I do sometimes collect books, but then I try to really go through the book and use everything in the book if I can. Uh, before getting too much more stuff. But this is a very cool children's book called Children of Many Lands. And some of the best illustrations for me are like simple black and white. Like this is something I can cut out and use on a piece. Even this, um, it's a little big because I use postcards, but I can cut out this elephant around this elephant because he has a dark border you know, and I could use like the top of it would probably fit on a postcard, but there's some really great illustrations in here. Some of which I've already used, you know, these elephants. And then, you know, this girl and boy, they can easily be cut out. So I use an X-Acto knife and, um, yeah, so I have a bunch of books with illustrations. I have a cool one that is like political illustrations. So some of them are very funny. Um, yeah, those are kind of big, but yeah, just really cool illustrations in here. I mean, I sometimes try to do themes when I do the collage postcards. Um, other, other times like this month is kind of willy nilly. One time I had this great cat calendar and so each of the and they were kind of funny the illustrations and so each of them started out with you know a funny cat and then actually i had a book oh i have a kid's science book with old one with great illustrations and i cut out this fly and i put it right on one of the cat's noses so just stuff like that i try to make it interesting or timely or funny um with varying degrees of success each time you know so yeah, and next time, maybe tomorrow, I will show you uh, my junk journal, which is kind of my collage journal where the stuff I put in there often has, like, it's often like a journal entry for me. It's got some kind of meaning for something that's happening in the world or something that's happening with me or just something on my mind. So I will show you that. Anyway, I hope this was interesting for you and I will see you tomorrow.